we will be talking about uh, the four UAPs. UAPs means the Universal Apostolic Preference of the Society of Jesus. You know, the four Universal Apostolic Preferences uh, the Society has come up with after two and a half years of intense discernment. Universally, every Jesuit participated in this process and finally we came up with four major areas. Uh, namely, the first one is um, uh, Ignatian spirituality uh, as a way to God. We are going to see this as a major area, uh, in fact, in an inclusive society where we can uh, lead people to God in whichever way it is. So that is our concern, first concern. And second concern is uh, walking with the excluded. You know, the migrants, the people who have discriminated against, in Indian context, the Dalits, the tribals, the weak, the women, all these people have been uh, focused as our major uh, apostolic uh, concerned people. And the third area we are going to look at uh, in the apostolic preferences is accompanying the youth. You know, youth have been completely misled today and uh, youth are in, way of, in a way we can say they are aimless, absolutely lost in many areas. Too much of secularism or too much of fanaticism, both are crushing the youth and their thinking power. In fact, they are brainwashed today. So we need to accompany them and lead them to the proper way. And the fourth area is um, uh, our ecological concern. We call it caring for our common home. We believe that this earth belongs to everybody. This universe belongs to the future generations too. So we have a responsibility to keep this, one, this earth intact for the next generation to utilize. Therefore, these four areas as our orientation, these are not priorities in the sense one, two, three, four. We are not going to do that way. We are going to take this as our orientation for all the apostolate. And I come from the educational sector as the Secretary of Jesuit Education in South Asia. I would like to see that all our educational apostolates, uh, these four uh, major concerns, or we call it as a priorities, must penetrate into the education sector. And for that one, we have already taken seriously. Last one year, the education sector is concentrating in the South Asian uh, context. We have already come up with the eco-policy, eco-policy in all our schools. And we are amalgamating or um, consolidating all the ecological mission which has spread out in different provinces today. And we are going to have uh, one common thread in the South Asian assistance and ecologically uh, making awareness to people. We also started taking up, uh, what I mean, tying up with the Echo Jesuit. You know, internationally we have the Echo Jesuit. Beautifully, we are um, learning from them and we are collaborating with them. We also have uh, uh, justice as a, as a focus because uh, the ecology, be it in ecology or excluding people from the uh, privileges that they are supposed to have or denying the human rights, etc., we are taking it seriously. So, in the context of India and South Asia, we are taking it up, this as one of our priorities. So, we have come out with modules for human rights, democracy and constitution. Uh, and it is well uh, thought out, textbooks have been come out with uh, experts uh, writing on uh, lessons on this. And we, we prefer that Ignatian spirituality and Ignatian legacy, in fact the Jesuit legacy itself must be part of our mission. Therefore, the educational sector, we have already started training the Jesuits, training the young Jesuits into Jesu Ignatian legacy. We also have a training of our staff um, uh, to, to understand what the Ignatian worldview, what Ignatian um, focus. And uh, we want our youth to be seriously uh, concentrated upon. Therefore, this walking with the youth, accompanying the youth is a a major priority for the education sector. I believe, as I say, education secretary, I believe that uh, these are not uh, a separate entity in itself. These are all interlinked and therefore if you take one, definitely the other will follow. So all these uh, four elements, four orientation, four priorities are interlinked and therefore we must take it seriously and uh, my request to all our Jesuit companions in the schools and education apostolate is because we have a forum. Education is the major thrust of the society. We can make use of this and the apostolic priorities must be 
is seriously uh, implemented in our schools, be it in the schools or the higher education sector. I am sure that uh, UAP will be a major concern in the coming days. And we will have uh, regular meetings on these things and we will come out with a proper uh, uh, implementation of these policies in the school education sector. So the, the coming uh, PCE meeting in Kathmandu, we will be discussing that. The zonal wise also, the central zone educational uh, meeting is going to be in the month of October. We are going to take up these are uh, one of the major concerns and uh, in discussion point for us. I am sure in, the, in South Asia you will see the four UAPs will be uh, somehow penetrating into the education apostolate. Uh, we wish that UAP may be taken forward in the coming one record and make it as part of our apostolate and this will be our identity, Jesuit identity, Ignatian identity, this four UAP will be very, very prominent in our education apostolate. Thank you very much.